2022. Archimedean Solids. Truncated icosahedron in CPS. By far, the best known Archimedean solid is, the truncated icosahedron. Most people involuntarily associate this shape with the beautiful game, football. The classical soccer ball has this shape, the hexagons are white and the pentagons are black. In chemistry and nanotechnology, this shape and structure is used to describe the fullerene C60 molecule, also known as the buckyball molecule. As we have done before, we will get to this pattern in CPS, by starting from the icosahedron assembled from identical spheres. There is a full video in this series, dedicated to the icosahedron in CPS. For better clarity, we will simplify the structure involved and we will concentrate, in the beginning, only on the triangular faces with an underlining hexagonal lattice. Let us simplify this even more. If we consider now a face and then only the edges and the center of the face, we get the following pattern. Let's consider two such triangles, rotated by 60 degrees relative to each other. As we can see, the overlapped nodes form a regular hexagon. These hexagons are in fact the hexagons of the truncated icosahedron. During the development of the CPS geometry, I straggled many times with the following question. What is the best way to visualize a complex structure in such a way to capture the low-level details of the structural configuration and also the overall structure's shape? My best answer to the challenge posed by this question is to visualize the structure using multiple views. After watching these videos, I strongly recommend you to visit our website and to farther investigate the structures using the 3D models available there. As said before, let's first consider only the faces of the icosahedron with an underlining hexagonal lattice. As we have seen in a previous video, there are eight such faces. Their locations and orientations in space are predetermined by these two facts. 1. The faces belong to the initial icosahedron, and 2. The size of the hexagons is determined by the overlap nodes. Next, let's add the other 12 hexagons, corresponding to the other 12 faces of the initial icosahedron. At this point, the shape of the soccer ball starts to take shape. The locations and orientations of all 20 hexagonal faces look fine. The missing faces are all pentagons, as expected. The orientations of the 12 pentagonal faces are determined by the orientation of the faces of the dodecahedron. Let's add four pentagonal faces first. Let's have a look now to a pentagonal face used in our investigation of the dodecahedron. Pay a closer attention to the shape of the edges of this pentagon and the edges of the holes in the truncated icosahedron. Let's add four more faces for a total of eight pentagons. As we can see, there are only four holes left. And finally, let's add the remaining four pentagonal faces. The complete soccer ball shape is now revealed. It is worth spending few moments to contemplate this beautiful structure. This is another solid rock, added to the foundation of this new geometry, the CPS geometry. By taking only half of this pattern, we are left with a nice dome. Don't forget, this dome can be constructed using only two types of elements, identical nodes and identical struts. I hope, in a not too distant future, we will see this kind of structures build on Moon, on Mars and beyond.